Good morning. It is about quarter past six on Wednesday and I'm sat in my car. I'm about to go and drive to Duke and today is a little bit different to my normal day. So I know I've talked before about how I usually go into the office for seven. I'm not doing that today. We're gonna try and fit in a photo shoot for a new coat that I've been trying out before work do some work at the yard. They have this beautiful space that I can use to sit with my laptop and then hopefully have a ride at lunchtime. I have to say right now it's raining <laughs> and the weather forecast looks terrible. So we'll just have to wait and see. For now, let's drive to the yard and then I'll update you when I get there. Some exciting things have happened this week. you just know that the vlog is going to be an absolute shambles so I have arrived at the yard the ponies are out there and I'm stood in front of a window shooting this because I can't get the lights in the cabin to turn on none of the lights are working and I can only presume that there is a master switch here um, and because I've not been at this yard for very long with Duke I just don't know where that master switch is so I'm gonna sit in the dark for about half an hour <laughs> Um, and do some work on my laptop and then I'm gonna go and get Duke ready. It's still raining. I don't know what photos we're gonna get today, but we'll give it a go. Good morning, Dukey. How are you doing? Such a handsome chap. I'm gonna give you a quick brush. Sound good? Yeah. Good boy. Thank you for that. Don't keep knocking it, you fool. Right, Claire has arrived and I really wanted to do some BTS video of us capturing, but the weather's so bad I can't leave the phone out. So instead, I'm gonna have to show you um, the finished product in another video, but the coat's doing very well in the rain. So at least we know it does what it says on the shoot. It's over. We managed to get some really nice patches of sunshine. It's actually clearing up a bit now and some really nice content. I can't show you the final photos because they're not ready yet, but I did get a little bit of capture on my phone, including Duke being a little bit of a piglet. So let me show you that clip now. And then I'm going to do some work and hopefully ride at lunchtime. Okay, it's lunchtime. I've got the Shire's robe back on. I'm gonna take Duke for a little wander around the forest. We have a dressage lesson on Friday, so I really want him to get out of the school. So I'm gonna take him for a little ride and then I have some updates when it comes to dressage with Duke. Come on. 
This is the first time I'm realising that I have taken you riding with me from Duke's New Yard and it is beautiful. I cannot wait for you to see the woodland that we're going to ride in. He does have a naughty moment at the end. Um, that spot where he had that nap earlier, just up here, he does the same thing on the way home. So you'll get to see what it looks like from my perspective when he does that. But in the meantime, I'm going to take you around the woodland. There are loads of jumps and we do this little step up. It's very cute. I would like to come and take him jumping in here one day. I'd like to be a little bit more confident um, and I don't want the ground to be quite as wet. But look at these colours. Look at these colours. I am obsessed with riding in the autumn. Truly obsessed. I think it's my favourite season. And I keep getting loads of memories of Woody and I. Um, we did loads and loads of hacking out at this time last year. I think if, you're, if you've here, been here for a while, you'll remember. We went out to Ashdown Forest. We went out to... Oh, I can't remember the name of the park. But it was beautiful. And it was about this time of year. Which is gorgeous. Nice, is it? Let's go round a bit, I think. Oh, that actually has a little ditch, doesn't it? Just a step. Step up. Oh, you don't think you can do it? Oh, I don't want you to jump up it. I just want you to step, really. There you go. There you go, good boy, well done. Well done. Good boy. Oh. Well done. Better, oh, there was a gap there. We could have gone down the gap, Juki. Hey. Oh. Look at all these lovely jumps. Mm -hmm. If we can go around the edge of them. Might be a bit tight under that tree, I don't know. I can't see from here. Can I go over this one? Oh, okay. Let's go around. Come. Oh, doing a poo. Good boy. I know. Gosh, look at all the apples. Oh, more jumps. Juicy. Juki. Good boy. This way. That's it.
I'm back. Weren't those colours beautiful? I'm also back to say that lovely peaceful vibe we've been having. Yeah, that's all about to change. Walk on. Don't be rude. Walk on. Don't be rude. Did not realise I was breathing this loud until I watched it back in the edit, but it is a bit scary. He is a big horse throwing himself around. Right, I'm stood under the roof of my car because it is absolutely tipping it down again. That was a good ride, apart from the end. I don't quite know what's going on there. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to tell you about Duke and I is that we have entered our first dressage test. It is not this weekend, but the weekend after. My coach has this thing called Get On With It. Sorry if you're not into swearing, but Get On With It, the Get On With It Club. And um, so I decided I was gonna have a bit of that spirit and just enter something. So I've booked the horse box higher, I've booked the class. Duke's owner's gonna come and drive there with me and then I'm gonna drive home. Um, I'm really nervous, like I've not taken him in the boards and, and I've never taken him anywhere and I'm definitely a person who likes to plan for things. Um, like you saw with, with Woody, I did loads and loads of prep for things, but all I've learned this year is that nothing is promised. So I thought, you know what, we're just gonna go we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna do a walk and trot test uh, because our canter isn't really there. But the it's been getting better and better. So I actually rode him the other night with his owner there and the canter was so good. So I'm gonna show you a few clips now of like where we were in September, October and then where we were just the other day because it is improving so fast. And yeah, I'm just really proud of it. So have a look at those clips. This was our canter back like a week after I'd started riding Duke. Not good, I felt really unbalanced. I actually stopped cantering for like two weeks because I found it so difficult on him. This was a couple of weeks ago, which you would have seen on last week's vlog and I told you I was having a little bit of trouble with the canter. And so I brought it to my lesson with my instructor, which looked like this. Outside leg, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, outside leg. Outside leg kick. Well done, well done. Hands still as you can, keep them low. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep going, outside leg. So yeah, you know, not easy. So imagine my surprise when I go in the arena with him the other day and this is the canter we get. This is me saying, oh, we did it all on a diamond last week and because you're here, I think I'm going to have a go at the canter. <laughs> Listen. 
little flying change there. See how I didn't panic this time? I'm already getting better. <laughs> when this happened in the last video, I was like, oh my God, he's trying to have me off. And look, I know this isn't perfect. I know that I'm sitting in the wrong place and my elbows are this way and that way. And I know he looks a little unsettled in the mouth and we're looking into that as well. But the difference in the canter from when I first sat on him to now, I was just so proud and I wanted to share it with you. This is his worst rain. I mean, even that transition, I'm sorry, but I'm very proud of this. I know there's a long way to go, but I just wanted to show you the little progress update and remind you as well that progress doesn't have to be you going from a beginner to Charlotte de Jardin. Like you're allowed to have your own progress report and you know, this isn't perfect. He's not going on forward enough, but the fact that I'm even ca uh, uh, confident enough to be doing this is, is really nice. So just wanted to share that with you. One last thing that I want to share with you, I am very excited to have been invited to the London International Horse Show, uh, used to be called Olympia, is now at XL. I've been many, many years, um, but this time I've been invited to come on the Friday when the Dressage to Music World Cup is happening, which I am so excited about. And because I'm being invited, I also have the opportunity to do a competition for two tickets for you also to come along on Friday and watch that evening performance. So if you wanna be in with the chance of winning those tickets, make sure that you are following either my Facebook page or my Instagram page, because that giveaway is gonna be coming in the next few days. Okay, I think that's everything. I'm gonna go home and dry off and then this evening I'm gonna see Mr. Wood. And thank you so much for joining me on this very wet Wednesday and hopefully I'll see you next week, 4 p.m. on Friday, UK time. That's everything. Bye for now. How was your day? I heard you went for a little walk up to the church and back. A little promenade, how was that? Oh, you had a nice day. I missed you. I missed you very much today. I missed riding you today in your lovely, lovely ways. You sweet boy. Should we go for a walk? Yeah.